So how does one use a crow's beak? Well, according to the treatises that I've seen, there's an awful lot of hooking involved because this makes a very effective hook. You can get that round the back of somebody's knee and pull his leg towards you, perhaps bringing him off balance and falling onto his backside. Or you can hook over his shoulder and pull towards you, perhaps breaking his balance and he falls onto his face. Um, you've got a spike at the top. It's, a, it's quite definitely not a blade. Uh, this is a square cross-section, very, very stout spike. You could possibly puncture an enemy or just push him over with it and get a good hard grip on him and then perhaps go for some weak point and finish him off with the spike. You've also got the hammerhead for battering him senseless. And in the case of the Bec de Corbin, the crow's beak, you've got this, which perhaps could puncture deep enough through armor to kill someone. Um, and it's certainly not going to do him any good, is it? Now, uh, the treatises I've seen show these as being used much like a quarterstaff. However, don't forget that they're used in these treatises for duels, one-on-one -on -one fights. Quite often the, uh, the business end, uh, the head end, if you like, is actually held low and the feral end is held high to start off with. And some of the plays start with an attack with the feral end or parry using the feral end and then you go in with this end. It's rather difficult for me to demonstrate any of the moves here because I'm rather restricted for space. Um, so it's used something like a quarterstaff in two hands. You do not use this uh, with a shield. It's way too heavy for a one-handed weapon. This is quite definitely two-handed and only two-handed. Um, now, looking at those plays, I remember thinking to myself, what if you're going to use it that way? Surely you may as well have a hook on both ends. And then I saw this picture. This picture shows a judicial trial. And these uh, chaps are trying to settle some dispute. I imagine, I hope, it's a very, very serious dispute because uh, these battles were generally to the death. And um, you'll notice that it's got a hook on both ends. There's a sort of fleur de lisi thing on the on the, the opposite end. But I've never seen anything like that uh, shown as being used in a battle. And that makes sense to me because if you've got a hook on both ends of it, you could accidentally hook one of your own side and be a menace to your uh, supporting fellows and you wouldn't make yourself popular with them. Uh, so it's used a bit like a quarterstaff, but with uh, a menagerie of killing bits at, at least one end. The crow's beak. Lindy Mage!